day three with Lucy and Pepper. Now Pepper just heard my voice, so she came over to check in. And this is what this session is going to be all about. I haven't done this with these two dogs. And this is really usually what I do with puppies, little puppies, eight, ten week old puppies. All I'm going to do is let the dog run around. We're on about, I don't know, an eighth of an acre here. And I'm just going to move around a little bit, and I want to see if I can become relevant to the dog in the environment. So much of dog training is connection with the dog. These are not my dogs. They were born and raised here, but then they went on, you know, they were born to eight weeks here, went on to their new homes. Now they're back for a little boarding, and I'm doing some training also. So I'm just going to check their connectivity to me. And in this instance, I've got a little bit of freeze-dried liver. This is really what you would do with maybe an eight or 10 week old puppy. Now see, here comes Pepper. And for her trouble, just showing up to check in with me. And here comes Lucy, but Lucy's late to the party. Lucy's late to the party. You gotta keep four on the floor. There's always rules to everything. There we go. There. Ah! Don't jump in my face. See, this? they're getting training, but there's no leash, no collar, no nothing. So I'm just letting them run around. This is their first time out today. Full of beans, full of energy. Pepper's the younger dog. Lucy's the older dog. But I'm doing this for another reason. It's because I've had a couple people commenting, Oh, I'm getting a puppy. I'm getting a puppy next week. Um, and I'm going to use your methods. Well, the thing about it is training has to be age appropriate. So a lot of the things you've been seeing me do with these two are not age appropriate to an eight or 10 or 12 week old puppy, but this is. So what you'll have, because you have a little tiny puppy is have a little something delectable in your pocket and just walk around. And then she came up to me and see, I'm only going to off, I'm only going to reward a sit, a stand or a lie down, not jumping on me. Good. And off she goes and off I go. Here comes Lucy. I'm going to try to just lure Lucy a little bit. There we go. There. Lucy's a, a little older. <laughs> Laddie's got his big red ball. She's a little older and she's a little bit more into her own thing. So I just sort of helped her along and, hey, you know, if you come up to me, you'll get a little bit of liver. Now, see, this is the way that I'm getting a read on these dogs because I'm training these dogs. It'd be really nice if they were a little bit connected to me or a lot connected to me. They're not my dogs. Since they're not my dogs, it's very similar to if you just got a new puppy. And I'm just letting them burn off some energy. Here comes Pepper. Now this time I didn't give her a food. You know, you want to mix it up a little bit. This time I'm just giving her some love. You know, just a little bit of sugar without any food. What a good girl. And you'll notice I'm not calling them. I'm just part of the environment. And when they notice me, they get a reward. Sometimes it's a little tiny bite of freeze dried liver. Sometimes it's some loving, rubbing, and, and just attention. And what that does is it causes a dog that wants to check in with you more often. See, here comes Pepper. I'm going to turn my back and walk away and see what she does. Very good. So I'm not calling her. The less you talk to these dogs and yammer at them, the more interested they're going to be in working with you. So now she's hanging close. So now I'll give her some more love. And here's what dogs like. Scratch right here. Rub the chest. Don't pat. Don't pat. That's hitting. Patting is hitting. This is loving. 
and they love to be scratched where they can't reach, which is right here on front of their chest and back here. Now I'll walk around, see what happens. There she goes. Oh, but look at she's back. Made a little clicking noise just to get her attention a little bit more. There we go. This time, I'm going to give her a little bite. She offered an SIT. See, I'm not using any words. She's offering what she thinks I would like. So you notice that she's checking back in with me more. And she's not going to get something from me. This is a, called a random reward schedule. She's not going to get food every time. I'm not a Pez treat dispenser. Sometimes she'll get a little bite of food. Sometimes she'll get a little bit of love. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see how she's tuning into me now? See how she's tuning into me now? Off. See, she knows this is why I don't like to use food. Another reason I don't like to use food is because they're ju she's jumping up. She knows I've got it in my pocket, and she's just thinking food, food, food. But I've got it because I'm trying to demonstrate to you how to connect to your new dog. Let's say you just rescued a dog, or you just got a new puppy. And see, I'm starting to set the criteria a little higher. Mm-hmm. And you'll notice that Lucy's not interested at all. <laughs> so this is also telling me where I'm at in my relationship with Pepper and Lucy. Now Pepper is nine months old, open-minded puppy. Woohoo, we're learning something. Lucy's like, where's my family? Okay, so now I'm just starting to raise the criteria a little bit. Good. Very nice. You know, I'm trying to get her to do what? Move when I move. Stop when I stop. Keep four on the floor. She's throwing an automatic sit at me, which is wonderful. But I'm not using any commands. She's having to figure me out. She's having to figure out what it's going to take to get my attention. Oh, that got Lucy over here that time. Yeah, now, because Lucy came over, I'll get a little food out. And I'll give Lucy a bite. Okay, so now Lucy came and checked in. Because I ran, I kind of got a little bit more. I turned myself into prey. Dogs love to chase prey. It's just innate. So if you run, they're more likely to come after you. That's why you don't run from a dog that's charging you. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, so I'm trying to become, I'm trying to be interesting to these dogs. I'm trying to be a little bit of a playmate to these dogs. But the play has rules and I have boundaries. You don't jump all over me. Here comes Lucy now. Ooh. I'll hold this piece. Yeah, I'm going to give it to Lucy. Ooh. So she, she's starting to engage with me a little bit. So it's two completely different dogs, two completely different um, emotional states that they're in right now. This one is like, hey, you know, this is my new home. You're my new owner. Away we go. Let's rock and roll. This one's still kind of like, okay, they dropped me off three days ago. When are they going to pick me up? <laughs> so, you know, when I train dogs, I change it up a little bit every day. Like one day... The other day I was using the slip leads, and then yesterday I was using the slip lead harness, and um, we were doing the blocking exercises. And today, tons of off leash. Now, see, they've lost interest in me, so. Oh, what's this over here? Oh, I see something. I think I see something here on the ground. See, this is also how you can catch your dog that ran away out the door. Instead of, if you chase it, it's gonna run. But if you, oh, I found, I did this one time with a Basenji, <laughs> ran out the door, you know, Basenji's hardest dog in the world to live with and train. And I just went out the front door and I got down on the ground and I started digging. Man, she came running back to see what I was digging up. 
So see, now they're getting, they're playing now, see? So what I'm doing is I'm eliciting play in these dogs. They're burning off steam with each other. Lucy's starting to relax into this little uh, game that we're playing. And I'm starting to build a bond with these two dogs. So this is a win, win, win. Get her to come around here, sit in front, I'm waiting just for fun. Let's see if I can get her to do it. Can you do it? Can you? There we go. Oh, this one has a bad habit of jumping up and licking you in the face. So, you know, I'm not really going to scold her for that. Maybe she gets to do that at home. You got to look at what their home life is. And, you know, I don't know everything they're allowed to do, so I don't want to get them in trouble for doing something they're allowed to do. I just want them to know that I don't want them to do it with me. So, you know, change up your routine with you. Don't have a routine, actually. Don't have a training routine. There's Lucy, very good. Oh, there's Pepper, very good. Don't have a training routine. When your dog sees you coming with your treat bag and your leash, and so boring. Sit, click, treat. Down, click, treat. Stay, click, treat. Boring. See if I can get a little more engagement out of Lucy today. I think I see something in the grass. Could be a gopher. There. So this gives you an idea. This is what I'm doing with these dogs today. I'm not going to do a bunch of drilling and all of that. We're just out playing, but we're also connecting and engaging. And you need that engagement from your puppy. If you're getting a new puppy, I want you to spend time doing this. Take its food, take its breakfast. Make a game out of how can I get her to give me my breakfast? How can I get him to give me my breakfast just by doing this. So thanks for watching. Boy, did we ever have a storm last night, yesterday afternoon. Uh, we had a big one here. I hope everybody's safe. I know there was a lot of damage. There was some tornadoes. We had a big blow here. Lots of rain, but no real damage here that I know of yet. I'm going to go out and check all the pasture fences. But uh, anyway, I'm hoping everybody was safe in that big blow. And thanks for watching. The little channel is starting to gain some traction. I really appreciate you watching, subscribing, commenting, sharing. Thanks.